Hey everybody, I'm Steve Haig, member of the Menish Second Leadership Team. And if it's May in Indianapolis, that means three things. Rain, the race, and revival at the shelter. Uh, you are cordially invited to revival this coming Tuesday, May 23rd, at the shelter in the North parking lot. Uh, it's a BYOM format, and that means bring your own meat. We'll have the grills, and we'll have the sides, you bring the meat. Uh, dinner's at six, our speaker is at seven. Uh, you know, at Minute Second, we believe in relationships. Uh, we think relationships are central and transformational, relationships with Jesus Christ and relationships with each other. And so Revival is really a monthly gathering of men to help build those relationships and grow in Christ and hear how Jesus has been active in the lives of other men like you and me. This month, we are blessed to have Tom Markey, who is the interim director of what is it, Tom? Youth Ministries, thank you. <laughs> Tom's gonna to be sharing his story. And Tom, why don't you just give us a minute or two preview of your talk? Yeah, well, thanks for the invitation. I'm excited to be with you and the rest of the minute second. So one of the things that I've been thinking about with this, this talk, this conversation, is framing it through the lens of the prophet Elijah. And Elijah has a moment where he's feeling a little bit hungry and cranky and tired. And God says, go take a nap in this cave, eat a snack, and then come back out. And Elijah comes back out in the mountain and is expecting God to be in all these big moments. And it's in the sheer silence where Elijah recognizes that God has shown up. And so I want to talk a little bit about my, my faith journey and my, my experience in this life of faith as those moments, those moments of expecting and waiting for a big, big earthquake to happen. And it yeah. was those little moments, that, that sheer silence, little moments of folks showing up and um, just being present with me uh, and helping me understand what it means to be a disciple of Christ and to live a life of faith. So I'm really excited to share some of those little moments throughout my life that have led me here to, to Second. Very good, right. And your journey here to Second has been really incredible. I, I would say that Brian Shivers might have had a little bit to do with that. Uh huh. Brian Shivers had a lot to do with that. <laughs> yeah, right. he was that one of those voices that um, quietly, consistently just kept inviting me in to do things, to volunteer, to be active and engaged, and then eventually said, hey, we have an open position. And that was in September of 2018. And here we are. That's fantastic. We're gonna hear a little bit about your soccer career in college too, maybe? Yeah, yeah, my, yeah. <laughs> I don't know much, it was, wasn't much of a career, um, but yes, yes, I was on the team at University D1, of South Florida. Though. That's yes. pretty good. Yes, yes. Okay, uh -huh. all right, we're looking forward to that, Tom. I've had a chance to work with Tom in, in middle school ministries mm -hmm. and uh, just a fantastic guy. I really hope you come out and, and uh, listen to Tom. He's got a, a really beautiful story to share. So come be revived and we will see you then.